Hi everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and today we are taking a look at and unboxing the AV-8 Harrier Attack Flight for World War III Team Yankee. So this is, um, it's not a new box, uh, it's the plastic version of the Harrier, uh, but it, it came out with the, um, not the most recent American source book, I think it was Stripes or whatever that was called. Um, so it, it's a couple years old, but since I'm getting back into Team Yankee and fleshing out my armies, I thought I would, um, you know, give my Marines some air support. Now, before you put in the comments, I am aware of the rather lackluster stats to the Harrier, and we'll look at those when we get to the card here, but um, I'm doing it more for uh, the um, iconic uh, sake, if you will. I like the way that Harriers look. I'm a Traditionally an airplane guy. I love airplanes. I play flight simulators um, and uh, So I, I like having the airplanes even though I going in I totally acknowledge they're not uh, They're not the best in the game right now. All right, so let's take a look at what we get in our box here All right We have our card with uh, decals very nice Okay, good. And then uh, one unit card, which we'll take a closer look at later. We have uh, assembly instructions. Looks pretty straightforward. Okay. And then we have two sealed packages, I'm assuming one plane in each, the traditional Battlefront flight stands, and some resin, I'm sure these are uh, bombs of some kind, cluster bombs probably. Alright, let's take a look at uh, one of these packages here. We have the canopy as its own piece. Some decent looking detail there. And then we have two uh, sprues of airplane. Now this is interesting. This looks like a plastic model kit like you'd get at a hobby shop. Battlefront airplanes don't normally come with landing gear or cockpit interior. I wonder if they sourced this out from another company. I bet they did. I mean, it looks like a, just a traditional model kit. What's that say there? Can't quite make it out. One, 144 Harrier. Interesting. But, um, you know, whether it's Battlefront building it, or they contracted someone out, or they're using a, a third party's models, uh, the detail looks decent. Panel line lines aren't super deep. I might wish they're a little bit deeper for wargaming, just because of the three foot rule. Um, it makes panel lining a lot easier, but yeah, that's something we can all deal with. Looks good. Little detail there on the top. I wonder if I can do an open canopy one with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it and a terrorist hanging off a missile. Oh look, there's well, you get some uh, Sidewinder missiles there. Too bad there's no rules for those in the game. That's pretty sweet. So you've got fuel tanks. That's the nose cone. You've got pylons for your weapons. Cool stuff. Let's take a look at that instruction again. 
Yeah, I wonder if originally this model had a clear canopy. I'm sure it did because it's got a pilot seat and joystick and all that stuff. And this was a clear piece. They just molded it in, in gray plastic. And then you glue your resin cluster bombs on them there. With super glue. Interesting. Looks good. Okay, so uh, there's that. And then uh, through the miracle of editing, we have a plane. So this took me maybe five, ten minutes to assemble. Now I didn't put the stores on because I wanted to look a little bit closer at just the fit and assembly. But it came together, and you can see some of the some of that seam right here. But once it's painted up, and that's you know that's like a panel line, I think that's going to be fine. The seam here in the front is pretty negligible, and then it's got a solid nose cone, and the canopy's covering some of it. So it's a smartly constructed model. I appreciate models that have all of the, the tabs that you cut on the bottom, so you can see where those those were. Um, but it looks good. Had a ton, a ton of tiny little holes for um, the pylons for the weapons. But overall, pretty cool looking little plane. Then going into the card, we've got it in here. We already took a close-up look at the decal sheet. Oops, sorry, that's taking a little longer. All right, there we go. We've got the AV-8 Harrier. It's got a, uh, it's hit on a four. It's got a aircraft save of five plus, which is gonna really hurt it. And it's got a 30 millimeter gun and CBU 100 cluster bombs. Short range, I wonder if this is the shortest ranged plane in the game. Eight inches on the 30 mil cannon, six inches on the cluster bombs, which are pretty standard. But if you can get in with those cluster bombs, check out that anti-tank rating. Seven plus, uh, five plus firepower. Now I realize that's the same anti-tank as the 30 millimeter gun, but remember the cluster bomb goes on the top. So if it's a, um, you're bombing something with a top armor one, um, best they can do is equal your anti-tank rating. Five plus firepower still isn't the greatest, but that's still pretty good. You're still going to knock out a bunch of stuff. Okay, so then we've got uh, the cost. Four of these is only six points, uh, which is um, the same as one Apache. So <laughs> take that as you may. They might shoot down and die to a stiff breeze, but um, they're cheap. They're inexpensive. Um, and they arrive on a 3+, plus, which is nice. Jump chats mean they arrive on a 3+. Plus. So, very cool. All right, there you go, guys. That's just a quick look at the AV-8 Harrier Attack Flight for World War III Team Yankee. I'm looking forward to assembling all of these and getting in a pure uh, Marine game. Uh, maybe I need to dig out my uh, Cobra helicopters because the Marines don't have Apaches at this point, but... Uh, We'll see how that goes. All right, guys, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Please, if you like this, give us a like and subscribe. That is always very helpful for us here at the channel. Uh, you can also check us out on Facebook at All Miniatures Great and Small. And if you like our Flames of War content, please check out our Patreon. There will be a link down in the video description below. As always, thanks for watching, and keep on wargaming.